How to use Google Keyword Planner. Now, if you're not familiar with this tool or if you've never used Google AdWords, totally okay. But if you're like me, you're going to be using this tool daily. It's an amazing tool and it's provided for free by the biggest search engine on earth. So you really can't go wrong with it. So basically what this tool does is you input a keyword and Google does a search and outputs what the average monthly searches are, the competition, the suggested bid on Google AdWords, and various other variables that you want to seek for that keyword. So for this example, as you can see, marketing was the keyword I searched. Average monthly searches is 60,500. Then below you can see that I sorted by relevance and keywords that are most relevant to my initial term marketing are business marketing. We have 2,900 searches a month for that term. Small business marketing, 2,400 and so on. So again, if you're new to this, you'll simply need to go Google Google AdWords, sign up for a free account. Then once you're signed in, you'll see in the top nav bar, the tools option, you'll click tools and you'll see keyword planner then click Keyword Planner. This will expand four options on the right of your screen. You're going to want to click the first one, Search for New Keyword and Add Group Ideas. So you'll have a couple options for searching for keyword ideas. The first is to simply input the keyword. So for this I like to put my actual product name. So for my one client it's Men's Wedding Bands. I'll input that and I'll click Get Ideas. And then the Google Keyword Planner will output similar keywords that I can use in my descriptions, I can use in my SEO titles. We're trying to capture the most traffic we can, and with this tool, we'll be able to capture what people are actually typing into Google search. So you may think, oh, well this is the title of my product, that's what people are going to be searching for. No, no, no. Let's capture the entire audience. Maybe they type in one word extra. Maybe they add another term. Maybe they type something totally different, but still stumble upon your product. We're taking advantage of this keyword research to optimize our Facebook page, our product descriptions, our website meta descriptions, and so on. So like I said, keywords is the first option for this. The second is input your landing page. You see that? The arrow, the competition site. So if you're new and you just are stumped, you don't know what your keyword is, just copy and paste your number one competitor's page, their URL, and paste it into this landing page area. Then click that same blue Get Ideas button. So Google will do the same thing if you would have input a keyword. They'll just instead search your competitor's website and pluck all the relevant keywords from them for the type of products they are selling or services they are selling. So two great ways to find other relevant and highly searched keywords via this great Google keyword tool. So once you click that Get Ideas search, it's going to pull up Ad Group Ideas and Keyword Ideas. Make sure to click the Keyword Ideas tab and this is where you'll see the ranking of various keywords. The default sort is Relevance, which is usually the best, but feel free to play around and see how you can add filters, sort by location, sort by monthly searches, and so on. So taking a look at our first keyword here, marketing, we scroll down, we can look at various things, average monthly searches, competition, suggested bid. So breaking this down, competition, that's just the average number of advertisers bidding on this keyword. So it's actually a low amount, because think of it, this is a pretty broad keyword, just marketing in general, but there is an average monthly search of over 60,000. So while not many advertisers are competing for this keyword, there are a lot of searches for it. It's definitely worth including this keyword in say your article if your website's about marketing or if you're selling a marketing service. But remember we just started with a basic keyword to see what other possible keywords we could use. So business marketing, a little more specific, right? 3,600 searches a month, high competition. That means a lot of people are bidding on this. So a lot of advertisers that use Google AdWords are bidding on this keyword. As you can see, the suggested bid is $12. Small business marketing, $20. So you can play around in here, test different monthly searches. So by this, we can rank it from high to low, 90,000, market watch. Not many people are bidding on this. There's quite a few searches. This could be an interesting play for an article around this. But remember, just because the competition is low doesn't mean a lot of websites are already using this keyword. This is just telling you that advertisers aren't bidding on this as much. 
So if you create an ad with Google AdWords, you may be able to rank for this keyword a little easier. But as you can see, it still has a pretty pricey cost per click. Now, I was telling you to play around a little bit, scroll up. As you can see, you can target different areas. I can edit what country, I can edit it down to a city. So an example of this would be, say I just opened a coffee shop in a small town in Utah. Do I want to be advertising to the entire United States that I opened a local Ma and Pa coffee shop? No. I want to pinpoint people just within maybe 15, 20 miles of my local business. And I can do that with this targeting. I can select exactly my location, my zip down to my city, right? Then you can play with the date range. Do you want to search volume for the, just the past 12 months? Maybe just the past month? Just play around in this Google Keywords tool and you'll really be amazed at how many keywords you can find and how big of a resource this can be, whether it's your Facebook page, your website, your Twitter. These keywords are all coming back to searches people are inputting into Google. And these can all lead back to whatever your social media page is, whatever your Facebook page is, whatever your website is. Use these keywords to enhance the content you create going forward. So this leads me to my next point of long tail keywords. So all my clients instantly say, well, yeah, I want to rank number one for shoes or whatever my product is, the most simple keyword, right? Yes, that would be great because when you go into Google Keyword Planner, you see that there's a high search volume for these keywords, right? But in the long run, these popular search terms actually only make up 30% of all online searches. The other 70% lie in what are called long tail keywords. So by long tail keywords, I mean when people go online to search for a product, are they just typing in the simple keyword? Sometimes yes, but like I said, that only accounts for 30% of search traffic. So the smarter angle is to drill down into these keywords and get very specific long tail keywords that people are searching on the internet. An example would be cheap red Converse shoe size 10. This person has intentions to buy. They are going online looking for a sale of red Converse shoes in their specific size. This is a tough point for a lot of people to get initially in marketing because they see that simple keyword, shoes, and they think, okay, I have to write articles around that. I have to rank for that keyword. Yes, incorporate that keyword into your articles, into your content, into your blog post. But it's these long tail keywords that are making the sales. So play around with your page title, your product title, your meta descriptions, and use these long tail keywords to capture more targeted customers. So one way to find these long tail keywords, obviously begin to play around with longer tail keywords in the get ideas bar, but also we can sort by search volume. Restaurant marketing strategy, let's see. So let's say I'm a marketer that works specifically with tourist companies, tourism marketing plan. This is great. If I'm a new tourist company or a big company like Travel Zoo, this is something I'm possibly searching if I'm launching a new strategy, a new campaign, a new product in my tourism niche, I may be searching this, right? So not many advertisers are bidding on it. It's low and there's only 40 monthly searches, but these are laser focus. This person is specifically searching for a marketing plan about tourism. This is a good example of a long tail keyword. So let's go back to our keyword planner, just tools, keyword planner, and it's going to come up to your keyword planner page. So there's two sections, find new keywords, plan your budget and get insights for keywords. So if you're just seeking volume data and you want to see trends for your keywords and you already know what keywords you want to check, this is a great area. We can enter it in right here. Let's do Facebook marketing. Search volume. and it'll give you the specific data just for that keyword. So average monthly searches, 3,600. A lot of advertisers are competing for this keyword in Google AdWords, and the suggested bid is 811. So if you're really set on ranking for this keyword, let's add it to our plan and just see how much it would cost. So if we're willing to bid up to 255 per click, cost per click, we can get an average of 14 clicks per day at 
So you can just play with this. I'm only willing to bid 76 cents. We're only going to get five clicks a day at $2. So if you have a $100 budget, that could equate 38 clicks in a day, but that could cost up to $442 per day. Because remember, this was cost per click. This was bid range. So that's the nice thing about Keyword Planner. Not only can you look at volume, competition of other advertisers for this keyword, what the average cost per click is, but you can also input what your budget is and see what budget you would have to put forward for this specific keyword. So back on the Keyword Planner page, this is the main area I go in, find new keywords, search for new keywords. This is where we can input our new keyword we want to research, Facebook marketing then just get ideas so I click keyword ideas so again here's our initial keyword we input and now Google's gonna give you other ideas for that keyword so let's rank by average monthly searches Facebook search 4500 low competition this is actually a pretty cheap bid this would be up to you on how you could incorporate this into an article or possibly a product offering. Maybe you're teaching someone how to use Facebook search, how to find relevant groups, possibly teaching people how to find similar pages using Facebook search. So this is an interesting angle just looking at the search volume. So let's rank it the other way. Maybe we can find a long tail. Facebook marketing post. So 10 searches per month, but it's pretty specific. It's a decent long tail. We're marketing to people searching, what type of post should I make as a marketer or if I'm marketing something? Let's keep looking here, Facebook marketing app, social media marketing for businesses. Say I'm a small business owner, I wanna learn social media marketing. This is a pretty good long tail keyword. Yes, there's high competition if I competed in Google AdWords, but there's 10 specific people searching this a month. It's pretty laser focused on people who are wanting to learn social media marketing and they have a business. One more way I like to use the keyword planner is to copy what our competition's keywords are. So click this first one, scroll down, your landing page. So instead of using our specific keywords, we're gonna input someone's landing page. So for this, say I wanna copy this company's barbecue gloves. So we just copy their domain or landing page, paste it in there, get ideas. So we switch to keyword ideas, barbecue smokers for sale. This isn't necessarily about gloves, but that's an interesting angle, 2000 searches, heat resistant gloves. Let's sort this by search volume. So Weber grills, that's high to low. Let's go low to high. Best silicone oven gloves. There's a great long tail keyword. Someone looking for the best ones online looking for silicone and obviously heat protectant or oven gloves. Keep scrolling down. Best barbecue heat proof glove, best barbecue mitts. So these are some interesting things we could use. Now say if you have to leave the site right now, we can download these all right here. Download ideas, export it as an Excel, and we can take these 851 keywords and upload them into a future Google AdWords campaign, or just slowly use this data and pluck keywords from this list as I build content, as I build articles on my site, as I make blog posts. Then we start to rank for these keywords and get more organic traffic.